Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few ways to add a splash of color to your Doodly videos. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. You probably already know that Doodly has a rainbow add-on that turns your standard black and white Doodly videos into full color. But did you know that you can do a lot to make your videos more colorful and eye-catching even without using rainbow? Well, today I'm going to show you the various Doodly color options that you can use. And of course, there is Doodly Rainbow. For those of you who don't know what it is, I will show it to you. It is an add-on and it takes your graphics that you have in Doodly and allows you to turn them into color. So for example, there, and then of course this guy, I could do the same with him. And I can do everything in one fell swoop over here. So I do have Doodly Rainbow. I use it sometimes, sometimes I don't. But what I do use across the board are all these other options. So let me go over a few of them. Options. Let's start with colored text. You select the text, click the little gear icon, and go up to color. And you can just change the color as you'd like. Click apply, and boom we have a splash of color. Another option you could do is colored outlines. So what do I mean by that? Well, this guy is outlined in black. Well, let's change that. Select our character, the gear icon, and then color. Same thing like we did with the text. Let's make him have, let's say, a brown outline. You can do this with your props as well. So if you had a prop here, Take the paintbrush. Let's move that behind him. It looks like he's holding the paintbrush, but it seems a little out of place because it's a different color than what he is, right? So what do you do? You just do the same thing. Just change the color. This little palette here is an external image. And this is one of the things I really love about Doodly is you can import your own images. So you can go to a site like Pixabay and just enter search for whatever it is you're looking for. We'll just say paintbrush. Let's take this one. You can download it. I come back into Doodly and I'm gonna click my little, make sure I'm in props. Click the blue and white plus sign and I'm going to browse for my file. By default, it will be in my downloads. And I now have another color item inside of Doodly that I can work with. Custom color backgrounds. By default, Doodly has this whiteboard, which is great. It's a whiteboard animation software, but maybe you want to mix it up a little. So we can change that background. It doesn't have to be a whiteboard. If you click settings down here, right here, background style, here's our default whiteboard. You can go for a chalkboard, a green chalkboard, a glass board. But if we want to add our own custom color, click custom. And right here, custom color, you can change that. I'm not real fond of the green, but we could certainly go with something else. Go orange. And maybe I don't want it quite so vivid. Maybe I want more of a pale orange. And click apply. And we now have a colored background. I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna go back to white, because I like that. And then, of course, I already talked about rainbow, which you can turn on or off, provided that you purchased the rainbow add-on. And then finally, Voomly Cloud Player Skins. So what is that? Well, I thought we'd go ahead and make a little short video. Acme Beauty Supply. And we're gonna pretend that she has some pink branding, okay? So I'm gonna upload her logo, and that's going to add some color, and then I'm gonna export it to Voomly Cloud, and we'll go over that in a couple minutes. So first of all, I'm going to props, my blue and white plus sign, and I'm going to go ahead and browse for my file. And this is her logo. 
And just by the nature of importing the logo, I'm importing some color for her, okay? So I can delete this, make this really big. And then we could decide if we want to change her color. Again, we could do an outline or we could do doodly rainbow or we could leave her as is. And I like her just fine like this. And I think that'll be fun. Let me go ahead and delete this scene. I don't need it for our video. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to add a little extra color here by changing the hand. So instead of this black and white sweater hand, I could do something a little more colorful change the skin tone or I could just choose a more colorful hand I could even do a cartoon hand and I like this one I'm gonna have it fade on it's my favorite effect for imported graphics and I think that'll be the first thing we see and this will be fine it's just a, a short little example so I'm gonna go ahead and export this Well, that's exporting Voomly Cloud. It's new. It's part of the entire um, Doodly family. It's the container for all of the related products. So it's the Voomly Cloud app. And with Doodly, you can get the Voomly Cloud Lite version, and I believe it lets you have five uploads for free. So it's a good way to try it out and see if it's for you or, or not for you, as the case may be. I'm going to go over to my Voomly Cloud app. And I do have everything. I'm gonna launch Boomly right from here. And I'll go ahead and upload my file into my Doodly folder. So I'm just gonna go ahead, open my Doodly folder and upload my file. And that's on my desktop right here. It's my understanding that eventually Doodly will automatically export the videos to your Boomly Cloud app, but uploading it this way is simple. It's a piece of cake. And now I want to do the little skin thing. Remember I said I wanted to brand it a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and click these little dots and I'm going to go to Customize Video Player. By default, the video player has this blue bar. You can play. And this is what your viewers are gonna see. They're gonna see this blue play bar and your video. Well, I can change that. So I'm gonna to go to player skin and I'm gonna choose a different one. I like this one, it's a little softer for our beauty brand, but it's not the pink color that I was looking for. So I go up here to player color and I'm just gonna change it to pink. We'll say that, I like that. And actually, I am going to change skin. And now I can share my video, and it definitely has a splash of color. It's got the colored hand that does the drawing, it's got the color logo, and it's got this nice pink Voomly play bar here. I hope this gives you some ideas of the many, many different ways that you can add a splash of color to your doodly videos. Thanks for watching.